So, we already know that C2H6 was ethane. C3H8 or C3H8 is propane and CH4 is methane. So, how do the how do they get these names? Let us see. Now see, you first check whether it is an alkane or alke alkane, alkene or alkyne. If it is an alkane, first write in. Now this in refers to the fact that it is an alkane. And then count the number of carbon atoms. Now, if the carbon atoms, I should make a table for this, number of carbon atoms and suffix. So, if the number of carbon atoms is 1, no, sorry, not the suffix, the prefix. Prefix is the part of a word which is attached before, I mean, which is attached before this ain. It is the first part and ain is the second part which is called the suffix. So, if the carbon atoms, number of carbon atoms is 1, then the prefix is meat. So, if you find one carbon atom and it is an alkane, it will be meat ain. If the number of carbon atoms is 2, then the prefix is eat. So, it's an alkane and it has two carbon atoms, so it is ethane. If it is 3, then the prefix is prop. If it is 4, then the prefix is but. And if it is 5, the prefix is pent. And for 6, it's hex. Just for your information, you do not need this at this point of time, but for 7, it is called hept. For 8, it's called oct. For 9, it's called non. And for 10, it's tech. These four are not very important. We'll mainly concentrate on till 1 to 6, that is meth to hex. So, this should be remembered properly. Now, if the prefix is meth and you encounter a double bond, then what will be the name? No, if the prefix is meth, one carbon, uh, you realize that one carbon atom cannot form a double bond. I mean, it has to form a double bond with another carbon atom. So, one carbon atom alkenes and also one carbon atom alkynes are not present. Because you realize that to make a double bond, it cannot make a double bond with hydrogen. This is not possible. It has to make a double bond with carbon since there is no other atom, uh, no other element involved. So, if it has to make a double bond with another carbon, the minimum number of carbons has to be 2. So, the naming of alkenes and alkynes starts directly with eth. So, if there is a compound like, oh, let me draw the structure. We already saw this. like this. So, it has one double bond and three carbon atoms. So, the prefix for three is prop and since it has a double bond, it is an alkene. So, the name will be propene. Now, similarly, if we do the structure of propyne, it gets the name Similarly, 
there is a triple bond so it is an alkyne and there are three carbon atoms so the prefix should be prop and the suffix since it is an alkyne should be ein so the name should be prop ein okay so now let us come to this saturation thing now what is saturation it means that if a compound is saturated then the molecule contains only single bonds and not double and triple bonds so basically if you talk about a saturated compound with only carbon and hydrogen it has to be an alkene alkenes and al alkynes are unsaturated 